Konnichiwa goes to salmon when entering a cave. What is going on, you salmons, you clams, you freaking door hangers, you cow hides? What's going on? It's your boy, TCM. Well, <sighs> wanted to bring you guys a video. In case you guys have noticed, I haven't been really been around. You know, I've been just, just not here. You know what I'm saying? Just haven't been around. So, there was the S3 relegation tournament. I went to that. Uh, played with SB. It was myself, Study, um, Anticity, and Spacely. Um, we went into it really confident, or at least I did. And <clears throat> our first match was against Epsilon. Um, I came out personally hot. Uh, team came out, I thought, hot. But then two of our players had a bad day and just an off day. Like, you know, everyone has their off days in COD. Like, you can't, you can't really point fingers or blame people. But um, the team didn't come out as hot as we expected. And unfortunately, that costed us our first game, which put us in a really rough position. You know, putting us into loser's bracket, which is, you know, you, oh, you never want to be in loser's bracket. You always want to have that one fallback win. You know, you always like to be in winners, so you have that fallback win in case you do lose. You can just look back on it and be like, all right, this is why we lost. This is what we can do to improve it. And then you can scrim at the event and hopefully fix it. So, like I said, we lost that. And then we went to loser's bracket. And the next day we played, we didn't get to play at all from that either. And we were the first match of the day. So we had to wait all day and all night to play and stuff like that. And we were just bored. Like, it was just like... When you're at an event, you want to play, and that's it. So, <clears throat> we were sitting around, sitting around, whatever. We scrimmed for a little bit, and uh, tried to fix the things that, you know, we felt like we made mistakes on in our first series. And <clears throat> came five or came tomorrow, or the next day, it was Saturday, we played XGN slash AR, which was Felony, BL Fire, Merc, and Lawless. Um, we ended up beating them 3-1. Um, and then we moved on to play, who do we play next? God, I can't even think. Why can't I think of who we played next? I don't know why I can't think of who we played next, but anyways, long story short, we ended up playing Optic Nation, and, um, there was, oh, we played Vex, that's who it was. So we ended up beating Vex last map, um, it went down to a pretty close series with them, down to the wire, and... We all clutched up, or my team clutched up, and we ended up winning. And we went to play Optic Nation. But the thing from before against the series against Optic Nation was, or against Vex, was um, one of our players was getting, like, you know, hype. Like you do, you know, you clutch up in a series and you get hyped. And as you guys know, there's technicals for when, you know, a player is being too hyped, they're being rowdy, they're being distracting, they're, you know, being, they're, they're overdoing it. And so our player received a technical in game. And then, or one of our players did, and then after the game was over, after we won, of course, since they were talking smack to us, um, we decided to hit them, they quoted us with a line saying, the game was over before it started, when they were up like 3, 4, or something like that, and then we came back and won it, and we we hit them with the line back, you know, because that's what just happens, like, we were like, oh, the game is over before it started, to rub it back in their face, because we won, and um, we ended up getting a technical for that, even though the game was already over, so I was just like, alright, like, whatever, and we didn't know about it. Until this series versus Optic Nation started, the ref literally came over to us and was like, you have a technical, you cannot choose sides for this series. So this is a best of five, and we can't choose sides, meaning we can't pick spawns, meaning we have to play offense on S and D, we have to choose the bad side on all the respawns, and I'm just sitting there thinking like, why the hell are we getting, you know, penalized for talking shit after the game's already over, you know, like, like... Mayor, like I, I wanted to literally stand up and rap out of the ref. I was like, "Are you serious? Like, you trying to catch these hands or what's good?" Anyways, long story short, <clears throat> um, that kind of demoralized our whole mood, and we ended up losing to Optimation. I mean, they they definitely beat us in the respawns, fair and square. Um, we definitely had the potential to win. We a lot of like small mistakes cost us the games, and that's just how it is at events. Like small mistakes will cost you games, and that will cost you events. So at the end of the day, you just have to clutch up. So that happened. Um, I went home, uh, traveled home on Sun or no Monday, and that was my birthday. So I was traveling home all day Monday, and my flight got delayed like hours on my own birthday. I was like, God damn! Like it was just looking slow. So then I finally got back <clears throat> to my house about 11:30 uh, at night, and um, as soon as I woke up, woke up really early in the morning. Um, my girlfriend came and picked me up, and I went on vacation with her family to Vermont. And that was a three and a half hour drive. 
So n I was only at home for literally like six hours tops, like not even. And I went down for the whole week, town to Vermont, and didn't have Wi-Fi for the whole time. Um, I got sunburnt pretty bad. Uh, I tied out a shirt. That was pretty freaking cool. It's going to look sick. I'm going to have that tomorrow. I'm uh, pretty excited for that. Also, if you guys are wondering how I got this, it is not herpes. I do not have malaria. I don't have a disease. Thank God. Um, it's the gayest story of all time. Yeah, I was going to laugh at this. I was playing a game of Marco Polo in the pool and literally was... Oh, hold on. I got to clam this kid. Bear! Oh, he got me. So, <clears throat> I was playing game with Marco Polo, and, you know, you call Marco Polo or whatever, and the person that was, like, the, the person that's it or whatever was coming towards me, and I was, like, stuck under a wall or stuck near the edge of a pool. So I waited, and they were coming at me, and I went, go, went to go underwater to, like, push myself off and, like, go underneath them. And as I did, the pool was, like, four feet deep or something like that, and I'm, like, I'm, almost, I'm like, 5'11". And so I go to push down, and I literally just straight torpedo the bottom of the pool i mean just straight allahu akba 911 that shit i mean like literally just scrape my whole face against the bottom of the pool i get out my whole face is bleeding there's like families in the pool they're all looking at me like i'm a goddamn serial killer that just did a commercial for kellogg's like I, it was bad it was bad so anyways i just wanted to make a quick video Actually, this is kind of long. I don't know. I just wanted to make a video telling you guys that I am back. I'm back. YouTube stream. Stream popping off in the morning. I'm having a good time. You know what it is. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be playing COD. Um, hopefully, I can find a good team coming here soon. Um, I've been scheming. Unfortunately, I don't think it's not looking good for S3. Um, a lot of people sleep on me. It's whatever, though. Hopefully, I can uh, prove them wrong and find a good team and show up to Dallas and do what I always do. Until then, I'll see all you beautiful Akapakalakians next time. If you like the video, please decide to like it or drop a like and subscribe. I love you all. Till next time, peace. Stay the hell saucy.